best. What else is going on? Who did this? What beast did this, man? Let's go. Just the background music, no voice. Sometimes it's good to not hear my voice. Anytime, anyway. I was actually saying uh, good avond. Guten Tag, Merhaba, Konnichiwa, Buenos Dias, Bonsoir. Uh, basically greeting everyone in his own language. Um, but yeah. Alright, we are set guys. <clears throat> we are set also was time that I was streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Multi-stream. <clears throat> Multi-streaming. Hey, the future. 2020-23. Alright, what's going on here? Who is here? Uh, Osama Ibrahim. Dimitri. Everybody's here. It's Greg. Perfect. An assassin from the Rust community. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we are... <clears throat> <coughs> nah, I'm so sorry. Wait. So today, uh, not quite sure what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some some Svelte stuff. Um, because we need to do some 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 blueprinting shenanigans, right? Uh, so for the people that don't know, for the people that are tuned in right now, get ready. What are we building? We are building Tech Trader, which is a um, real-time crypto analysis and algo trading platform, empowering everyone with professional trading infrastructure. Create powerful alerts, no corner skill required, focus on strategy, drop the boilerplate. Basically, for traditional traders that cannot code, easy peasy creating alerts, set up your very in-depth alerts, right? You have access to real-time order book shenanigans. And then for the quants, um, you can do the same thing visually with API or with API, and you can subscribe to the computed result of your scripts, blueprints, easy peasy, right? That's what we do. Go to techtrader.com. Sign up uh, for the alpha. Nice. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're on Twitch. Good luck. <clears throat> because I don't actually see the chat there. <clears throat> All right. Did I do what I needed to do? What's this? Let's go on it. Look at this guy. He's sharing his, his thingy and I'm here. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. Okay, let's go let's focus it, right? So basically, um So what you're gonna do <clears throat> If you go to blueprints here, um a couple things are actually wrong. Actually, a, a lot of bugs already, right? So, for example, if I go back to markets, right? There is a problem right now. And the reason is, uh, if I actually inspect this thing... Uh, WebSocket is already closed, right? I was doing some WebSocket stuff on the Patreon, right? Uh, like I said, on my Patreon, I'm making more focused videos on how I built this stuff. Uh, so, there is a problem here because I'm closing the WebSocket. If we go to Blueprints, why is that? Well... So basically, let me refresh this page, boom, and it's all gonna be fine. Of course, we don't have history yet, right? So we take it directly as it comes. We have the trades right here. Um, the thing is, if you, if you, for example, open up alerts, right? Oh shit, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. This alert is actually not good. That needs to be smaller. Why is, what's going on here? <clears throat> also, I basically uh, did my font a little bit smaller. For myself because it's otherwise it's uh, annoying to code uh new alert model so i have actually this one and i also have the model which is the model here and i'm actually oh yeah it's the 5 excel this should be md right this should be md right and then of course uh when we open up this um blueprint model load probably then we do the 5 excel here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Cancel. Look at this. Alerts. Bam. <clears throat> alerts are for the people that cannot code. For the people that want to set alerts, right? For example, you're a trader. You have a, a very complex setup. You can program that. You could also go to trading view, but that's complete dog shit. Because in trading view, the alerts are very simple. Look at that. Trading view. <clears throat> Competition. There is no competition when I'm in, when I'm playing the game, guys. When I'm playing the game. Look at this. Alert. 
This is what you get. <laughs> this is what you got. You cannot uh, uh, crossing, moving up, inside channel, exit. This is this is complete dog shit. This is basically give your money to me shit, right? This you can give give your money to me then instead of this, right? Uh, that's the only thing you can do. We don't need that stuff, right? Get it out of here. Although we use their charts for now, right? I know, but hey. So what we can do is basically we can select the blueprint. <laughs> we can select a blueprint and alert on the computed output of that blueprint. So you can make a complex strategy and get alerts, right? Undefined, I know. <laughs> uh, all right, that's the thing. Uh, then we have um, computer something for later, backtest, oh, yada, 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 blueprints here. So basically, yeah, now it's fine, right? You see blueprint, big screen, close, alert, small screen. Perfectly fine, right? You see, and there is a problem. Oh no, it's import, we are here, okay, cool. <clears throat> what about the night vision charts? Uh, the problem with night vision, vision is that um, you need to do a lot of stuff yourself, which is fine. But the problem is, I will go for speed. So we are not a tech. Or my focus of dictator is not to have uh, you draw these stupid Fibonacci lines and, and all that stuff. I mean, guys, listen. Uh, we are we are fucking we we trade like the pros, and you can do too also empowering everyone with professional trading infrastructure. If you think that the professionals are trading with simple uh, support and resistance lines, then you're basically completely uh, delusional. So. Um, if you go back to our markets here, because yeah, let's refresh because otherwise no data. I'm using the trading view charts because then if you want to do something, if you want to draw maybe a Fibonacci line or you want to do something, you can. So I don't need to implement that in, in night in the night vision charts. That saves me half a year of time. If you know what I mean. Um, so now we can basically use their chart, but it's not their data, right? You need to be, you need to be very, very. <clears throat> it's not because you, you trading view does not come with data, never, ever. You need to implement your own data, right? And we need to find a way to basically draw your back tests and your and your 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 blueprints on this chart right that's what we need to do also so we want to use something that it's back that is basically um, battle tested right <clears throat> that's that's why right so we have a problem here with these blueprints that i want to fix actually and it's um some calculation you see this thing was actually this thing right and then save with a range look at that this is how i programmed it in my main file <clears throat> right. i think it's not quite sure which one it is it's this one no it's not which one is that then Some calculation, it's this one, yeah, 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 yeah. So we have this expression, close, close output. That's it. But the problem is here, if I save this, that's also something we're gonna fix and you guys are not gonna see this probably. Uh, because my own screen's in the way. If I save this, you see it's the blueprint save thing, which is the, the red one, which is actually for errors, but I was lazy. I was lazy, so I reused that. Um, what are we gonna do first? Look, I'm gonna show you the problem that I, that I have, right? So let me close the server. Uh, let's do a make down. Let's do a make up. Make up. And let's do a make seat. 
and then we do a make server. We're basically making make server, right? And we're also gonna react uh, at the end of the stream to this thread. Uh, wait, I need to go to my to my um, to my Discord because there is some guy. Is it going? Well, let, let me find this real quick. It's in general somewhere. Join the Discord community also, please. Here. How the hell? Let me zoom in. How the hell do you write maintainable clean code for a bigger API in Go? Written by Flamingo, nine hours ago. But we're gonna do this later on. We're gonna do this later on because Started doing Go, love it, but it has some weird for, for me quirks. No, you are the quirk. You have legit no clue what, what you're talking about. You're actually trash. For example, this guy, and then he sends this link. What's beneath this link? We're gonna see very soon. By the end of the stream. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so now we have actually a complete, uh, we reseeded everything, right? So let me, blueprints. Import, right? You see now we have two blueprints because I reseeded the database. I'm gonna open up this one. Boom. You see? You see what happens? It's a complete script, right? A complete blueprint, but right, I'm gonna import it again. I'm gonna import this other one, perfectly fine. Import this thing, perfectly fine. But when I do this, I'm gonna remove this connection, right? So now we have this, can you guys actually see this? Because I need to be very careful. <coughs> How do you summer glorious gopher? Um, <laughs> Theodorant. I know some glorious gopher. He's, he's in my Discord. I think it's you. Um, yeah, so let me connect this back again and then save this. And then we're gonna refresh this. And you see it's broken. So. The thing is that this data stream But this this is such a bad this is actually an invalid script because you use a variable we, We're using a variable, but we don't set this variable, right? Let me recode this real quick because it's it's a we also need to dry run this into the runtime. It's actually so, so bad. Express, I'm gonna see. Ah, wait, it is. It's a value. It's a value float times. The variable close, which is not true. This should be a built-in. This should be a variable. I need to make seat. You see, no blueprints yet because I need to make seat. Hey, eh? hey, eh? I need to make seat. Yeah, uh, make server real quick. Boom, just like that. Then we import this thing. Boom. Okay, so some calculation. Ah, now we're there. Look at this. We have a candle close. We put that into an expression. We multiply that by two. Then we're gonna take this expression here. We're gonna store that into a variable, which is called the close output, which is this thingy. Right? We're gonna put that into another expression that is gonna be greater than this number, and that's going to be in your stream. Now it makes sense, right? Now it makes a lot of sense. That's beautiful. But if I drop the connection here, and I'm gonna save it again, save this thing, re-import this, it's broken. So what do we learn about this? 
that this output of this expression can also be a variable. Is it canvas or SVG? Canvas. How do you make those beautiful blueprints? I was thinking of doing something similar. Are you using some sort of library? Yes. What kind of library do you use? Rete.js. Rete.js. R E T E. Dot. Yes. Good luck with that because if you think it's gonna look like this, you're in a bad spot. <laughs> you probably you're probably gonna sit months months spending to fix this. But hey, good luck of that. I, if you want some help, feel free to jump into my Discord community and ask me so I can help you um, get up to speed with these things because. Uh, it's kind of loco. It's kind of loco, mon amigo. Kind of loco, I say. Uh, okay, so the problem is going to be this expression has an output. Okay, let's go into the code. Guys, let's dive in. All right, I have my diving suit on. Let's go. So, basically, the first thing we also need to do is close all editors. Fuzzy find. Notes. Actually, loader. That's what we need. We also need... Saver, because if you have a loader, you need a saver, right? And if you never listen to my JavaScript advice because I suck balls. I just can, I, I just build stuff, right? Uh, if it's built the right way, I have no clue. I don't care. Um, so we're going to load that data. And we're going to load this expression. Wait, let me go back visually. So this is an expression. How it works is I'm loading, because that's the hardest part of the whole library. It doesn't help you with that. You need to do it yourself. We load only expressions, and then we check their connection. I actually extended that note, right? L let me show you. Uh, let me open up a note here, because uh, expression. You see, I extended this note completely with some minor shenanigans. So I think if we load, gonna open up saver here, yeah, that's fine. One screen, get the cursor out of the way. So load the left hand side, fine. Load the operator. Muy bien. Then load the right hand side. That's the problem. So um, if we have a name set for this expression, we store that in a variable. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, we, the loading of, of, our, of our blueprint was perf perfectly fine. The problem arised when we saved it so i think it's going to be the saver by the way the saver is the problem the saver is the culprit here the culprit <sighs> guys i'm gonna I'm, I'm 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 at the point of really i swear guys i'm at the point of breaking down i'm the question i have a backend written in golang should i use htmx or write the front end in svelte I'm, I, I made the biggest mistake in my life and I was making a video about HTMX because now everybody is on Twitter. I, I, I really hate it. I'm also at the point at quitting YouTube completely, just disappearing from, 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 from the internet and just build my stuff and, 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 and be at peace because, listen, once again, HTMX is good small things minor things for example you want to do a quick fetch some data you want to dump it into a div or something some very minor stuff it's actually for if you write in PHP or in Python these 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 um, server side applications right then you can utilize HTMX to do some minor stuff. For example, let a button, uh, if you click on a button that it's, it's, it's starting to spin or something. It's just, it's just some simple things. But if you want to build complex front ends 
actually applications, which probably is not the case in your in, in, in for you, right? You're, you're just trying to build something, right? Some, yeah. Then, if it's complex and you want to do a lot of front-end complexity, then you use Svelte or Next.js. And there is no such thing as comparing HTMX with Svelte. There is no such thing as comparing Go with Rust. There is no such thing. Stop watching all these motherfuckers on, on fucking YouTube. They are, they, they are just teaching you bad stuff, guys. Bad stuff. You use what you need to use for the problem you're trying to solve. And it makes me so fucking pissed all the fucking time. And I hope you see it because it's so annoying. Um... The tech community, I hate the tech community. I hate the Golang community. I hate it. I hate them. Because they have no clue. Ah, it's so annoying. It really is. The, uh, the, the, the simple thing, guys, it's, 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 I make a video on how, about, on how I switched from VS Code to uh, NeoVim. A couple, a week later or two weeks later, I, my life, I decided to go back to VS Code for reasons. And people are, everything I say about things, they say, Oh, you're back at VS Code? You're what's happened to Envim? What happened to Envim? You just make this video to get viewers. Um, guys, listen, I was programming when you guys were basically shitting your diapers at night. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of people asking stupid questions because yes stupid questions they exist it's the majority of questions are stupid questions by stupid people anyway oh man i'm gonna get cancelled very soon and uh, that's gonna be a very that, that's gonna be a relief that's gonna be a relief uh, ready for me all right so for the people that actually want to learn some stuff export into value so basically um I also have a, a not 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 the best sleep uh, the late the last days, right? I think it's time for everybody to start build stuff uh, instead of instead of asking, wondering, wondering what you should use. You can use literally anything; it doesn't matter as long as you're happy. Wait, so let me think. So we have this expression here, which has an output, right? Let me reload this thing. Yeah, so it's missing this output. So um, if it's an expression, yeah, yeah, yeah. Export it to value. Calm down, I don't calm down. I do whatever the fuck I want. That's what I do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think it's this one, export into value, which basically assumes it's gonna be a value, but it isn't. So float built-in variable. And what is this thing? It's a variable. Where can I actually dump my JSON? Man, this is so uh, hard to read. Is, is it me or is it... Um, where do I save this thing? time I've been here. So we do Axios put. Blueprint saved. Editor error. <laughs> this is so garbage. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Anthony, Anthony, what are you doing? Um, 
Eer, 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 eerst. Hier is, hier is hij. Hier is hij. Uh, wat we gonna do is... Um, console.log. Man, look at VS Code with all that bullshit in my face. G um, is een object right, so we don't care. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Uh, fools. Rules. Let's save this. Let's go back here. Let's import this, this thing back. Let's do this, so we can see. Inspect here. Where is this thing? Boom. Sources. Boom. It's gonna be probably hard to read for you guys, but hey. Wait, I'm gonna put it here. Real quick, save this thing. Bring it back in. How can I zoom this thing, actually? Is it a zoom thingy? Oh, yeah. If somebody knows how, how I can zoom this, that would be amazing. So we have two expressions here. Um, Float value is two. Wait, what's going on? Yeah, there's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right hand side. Then the, the output. I need the output. Ah, wait, wait. Control plus. Is that the thing? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's just the normal key binding. I didn't know it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just a universal thing. Ah, uh, boomer. I'm a boomer, man. I'm so sorry. Look at that. Use magnifier. I know, I know. This, this you mean. That is a... Uh, no, man. It's fine. It's fine. This is actually complex stuff. Uh, not sure if, if I needed to do this uh, on stream. But hey, it is what it is, man. Um... It could load it from JSON. There is no output in the JSON, right? We actually evaluate expression by expression, so it means that this is one, this is... yeah. But how do I know this output? If I... wait, let me import this again. I'm so sorry, it's just, it's just hard stuff, so... This has a name. This has a name internally, and if it has a name, it needs to add to this. Okay, so if an expression has a name, Because that's what we do in the loader. The loader is working pretty fine, right? You see, if we have a name set for this expression, we store it as a variable, right? But if you code it, if you if you use API, you don't need to. You can you can set the name inside of the expression itself. But it makes a lot of sense uh, to not make an um, an input field in an expression. That would be just annoying. So we set that variable like this, right? How do I disconnect this thing like that? All right, this, this is the first part, right? You see, expression, the close output. This is the name of the expression, the the variable that's gonna be where we're gonna store that in. Maybe I should change this this uh, field name. Left hand side operator, right hand side, which is this thing, right? These, these, and these. This is the name. This is the thing. And this expression has this as input. But if we save, that's not gonna work, right? Yeah. 
I can see already what the problem is, right? So we don't have a name here, right? We have a left hand side operator. Um, we don't store the name. But where are these types coming from? We have a name, we have a name, that's good. No, that's the name of the blueprint. Expression rule. We have a name and expression, that's nice. That's you see, this is the, the problem also, right? Typescript is nice, but we did this because they don't not always have a name. Because some expressions can have no name. So we're gonna fix that by using the saver here. Let me open up this, let me close this screen actually. Because it's gonna be annoying for the viewers, hey? Um Yeah, here is a problem. So if if this export, if this is going to be, if this export into value is going to be a value, a variable, right? Then we need to set a name. Is the right hand side. Okay, okay, okay. I, I got it, guys. It's on chess. Play, that's coding. We're playing chess. It's hard to get to get into the to the flow, but at a certain point of time. Yes, I got it. So we say here that if it's a variable, we return this variable thingy. But we have the value of this variable is going to be the name of that thing. That's perfectly fine. So what we could do then is say that the right hand side is exported to value. And then we're going to check if the RIS dot type equals variable. But now, because I'm programming like a Golang engineer. Right, because I am one. But can can we do something something nasty like this? Name some 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 pa paddock paddock Matt paddock. How does it, how does his name? This TypeScript wizard. We're gonna say RIS dot type equals variable question mark RIS dot value this value is an any type as string colon nothing Yeah, you can do I can do that, Teddy. Yeah, no. But the problem with null is then yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you're right. That's a problem that's a problem with TypeScript and Rust. That you can do too much things. And it's powerful, like in, but it, it's 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 just too complex. You don't need that complexity, it shoots you in the foot. Uh, the question is is it gonna work? We don't know. Let's open up this thing. Of course no, not because we didn't export it decently. Is this only for this console? Or is it also for my... No, it's only for this, man. That's amazing. Wait, that's... Not... No, 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 no. We are wrong. We are wrong. We are wrong. We are, we, we, we are completely wrong. We are completely wrong here.
It's the output we need to check. If the output is a variable, it's actually it's actually so easy. If the output is a variable, we set that as the name of the expression, call it a day, because we actually don't care about the outputs because um, But hey, it was fun. This was a fun expression. Wait, we can actually test that. Before we actually do some stuff, how, how does it named? How, what is the name of this thing? Yeah, I know, man. What is the name of this thing? This thing is close output, right? Right? Oh, shit. Wait, yeah, no. I need to zoom in because arrange this thing, save. Yeah, close out with. So basically, if I import this again, yeah, now it works, right? So now we know, that's good news. So we made a little mistake. There are no mistakes, only little happy accidents. So now we're gonna fix that. So now we need to f uh, find the output. Um, what up, Zinolio? What up, Ryan, man? What up, people? Welcome, welcome here. I'm sorry for my little um, adventure here a couple minutes ago, where I was a little bit annoyed, a little bit angry. But the thing is, it's it's hard, guys. Listen, it's being this YouTube thing is is really hard, and I, I it's not fun anymore. But it, I do it for you, uh, and also to promote my stuff. <laughs> but like I said, it's so hard. It's mentally, it's mentally so fucking hard because people are. You say one thing, and they come, they come with, with they, they, ah, it's hard. Oh, oh man. That all these streamers getting depressed and all that stuff, I, 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 I totally agree. I totally, I can. Uh, Svelte is low-key bad compared to React. I don't know, man. Uh, React makes no sense, in my opinion. Svelte is uh, plain, you, you code just plain, right? And a lot of people don't know what it is because they, listen, the developers of this era, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you have two years experience, you're basically completely uh, brainwashed. Everybody had one, two, three years experience, maybe four years experience, you don't know what coding is. You were born with React. You don't know. You don't know how to write JavaScript yourself. You just React, React, use effect, this, that, boom, boom, boom. Libraries here, libraries there, right? Uh, I said Svelte is the future, and somebody responded, "Yeah, but Svelte has no libraries." Of course, you fucking dummy. You see, Svelte has no libraries. I cannot code. I can only configure it and uh, watch and uh, read readmes on GitHub and copy paste. Okay, fine. Then Svelte is indeed Loki bad, right? Because in Next.js, for everything, if you need to fart, you can download an NPM module, right? If you need, for everything, and every smell. <sighs> and I don't want to discuss this. I do what I do, and if you can build the same thing that I built at the same time, then much respect. Much respect. Because everything you see here, front and back end, is written uh, by me. In 10 days. Svelte lets me write stuff like I wrote this 10, 15 years ago, right? We just write stuff from left to right. That's enter, press enter, right? Type enter, type enter. But now it's not anymore. You don't write anymore from left to right. You use an, an, an special things and, and configurations and configuration files and ways you need to name things and ways you need to do this and it needs to be placed there and you cannot do this first because that's a hook there and why? Why is that needed? Uh, okay, so now we're gonna fix this close output. So we need to fetch the output and the problem is if you go if you open up notes here, we don't have the We don't have the output, but I think I can fetch it. Uh, 
That's a problem. You have this variable set expression, yeah. Shit, name is, is, is a fucking... Let's make it easy for ourselves. What is... Expression note. Yeah, and then we set the stream node, but that's fine. That doesn't matter. This is editor bounded. This is not in the in the in the JSON. You don't need to provide this yet. Expression node. Dot uh, variable. So annoying because I needed to cast this to a text script node, but the thing is that um, just I, I really hate TypeScript. It is what it is. It's it's it's. I can probably do this. It's gonna it's gonna be complained because uh, it, look at this. What I need to do is this right expression node as. Expression node, for, for example, this of just this. Is it gonna work? And that's how I waste so much time. But it's fine. I'm gonna just do this and types is gonna complain, but it's gonna probably work. <laughs> can, can you see it? Can you see me suffer? That people actually write this language. That people actually write in this garbage language? I have no fucking clue. It makes no sense at all. Because you... We need to do this here, right? So this expression node is an expression node. We make a new one, but we need to do this as text skip node because all other functions, they want this text skip node thingy. They don't want this expression node. <laughs> but they are stupid because they, in Golang, you can make an, an interface, right? An interface, and it just need to implement that, and you can call that method. But I don't know how to do it here, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, something like that. So basically, what we could do now... Close up with this one, right? Think it's name. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's fine. It's no problem. I'm gonna disconnect this, right? Save this. Connect it back. Save it again. Import it again. 
How do you structure your svelte is in uh, your, your your svelte is in your project? <laughs> How do you structure your folders in your svelte project? Uh, I have no clue. Like I said, uh, I'm just doing stuff, man. I'm figuring things out, right? Because, like I said, Svelte, nobody knows about something about Svelte, so I can do what I want and nobody's gonna complain. And that's amazing. That's what I want. I actually want to have a programming language with only five people in it. And so nobody is gonna complain on, on, on what I do. Nobody's going to make edit threats on how bad I'm, I'm making these things, you know. But they are the ones actually in, in trouble. I'm not, right? I'm not watching YouTube how to do Golang or how to do Svelte. I'm just do stuff. Uh, so I just have this lip folder here. Of course, we have some red stuff because TypeScript. And uh, yeah, components, stores, requests. I don't know what this is. This is basically something new I did today. I was, yeah, I don't know. Just some Axios request in it. No clue. And then routes, which is the, the classic stuff, right? This socket stream is just, it, it lives here in lip. Why? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Right, socket stream. You see, I have export function. You see, I have the I, I have this, right? Export const subscribe in the, uh, in the, how do you call this function? A special notation here. I decided I didn't like it anymore, so I now write these functions like this, because this is how we wrote functions in programming for fucking 10 years. For what I say, since the beginning. So that's why I'm using this now, right? So this inconsistent styles, but I don't give a shit, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Right? <laughs> to get rid of the uh, error, just to add TS expect error on, on top of that line. Uh, yeah, but if you do that, then it complains that you have this uh, TS rule. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, it's always a problem, right? You could do something like this, like add TS ignore or something, right? Eve, like this. That, that, then your file is also read just because you see this language is so, so bad. And it's not that I, that I, of course I'm not the best in it, but it's just bad. It's a bad language. It's a bad design. No, it's not open source. <clears throat> oh, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> this is worth millions. What are, what are you talking about? And then obviously this is a problem here. Look at that. I have no clue what this is, right? It's crazy, my application is working pretty fine, but still now we have these things, but hey, we will fix that later on. So this is actually working now. Normally it is, right? I'm gonna refresh for the double check. You see, this is working. I'm gonna disconnect this, right? I'm gonna save this real quick, which actually should not be the case because we didn't connect that. We need to do a complete linter on top of that. Import this again, so now it's, didn't save for some reason. It doesn't matter. Maybe we have an uh, we have we have actually have an error. Wait, how can we test that? It's working. It's working. It's working. You see, I can actually say uh, thirty-two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double check. No time for unit tests. We do it like this, right? Save, boom, import again, boom. Yes, fine. Disconnect, save. That's probably gonna give an error. Actually, it doesn't matter. This, 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 this note doesn't matter. This is a date. This, this is not in the spec. This is just this note is only so. We can close this so it's visually for the user that it makes sense for oh i'm dumb right because data stream doesn't have any output the same thing if you want to create an alert you do of course i need to style this this stupid menu right you can create an alert and then you can uh, delete the data stream and then put this into input one and then you can compare this again with something else i need to rewrite this menu this this is the built-in menu You see, I'm using, this is in a package, this menu. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of that thing. Because it, it, it's it's laggy, it's bad, it sucks. So I'm gonna, I gonna rewrite it myself, right? Properly. Because I'm, yeah, properly. Right, it's just to end, to end the script here, right? You can actually save it like this. Actually, maybe it's gonna complain here. Yeah, no, it's not. 
Because it's a valid script. I need to mouse click sometimes, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, boom. All right. Bellissimo! It has a nice menu. I'm using this UI for Tailwind. So I'm gonna probably use that. But these things, I made it myself. Like these, um, of course I click something that doesn't work. These menus, for example, alert heat. I made it myself. It's just a model from uh, this UI. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so um, I'm gonna double check because I'm actually not 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 that super happy with the implementation of that node. So that's what I do always is I try to make it work, work as dirty as possible. And then uh, I'm trying to um, reiterate because this variable here, yeah. Why, why am I using this stick skip thingy? Why can I not just say it's gonna be a variable node? Why, why, why are we doing this? Because this, va this right hand, the right hand side can be different things, but the variable is a variable node, right? Of course, now the saver is gonna be, where is this actually? I don't understand. Why this is that? I hate that. Because Saver was such in a good spot. Look, Saver is clean. Look at that. No red in Saver. What is that? You see, I have I, I need them all, right? I need them all. So what what, what the fuck is the problem? Okay. This is this is where I go completely out of this makes me so angry. Don't use new for these nodes, right? Can I do this? Wait. Okay. 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 You see, I'm, I'm suffering also here in the thing. It is what it is. This is basically classic stuff. But like I said, uh, I think if you go through this process a lot of times, um, I think it will settle. <laughs> I hope it will settle actually. Uh, but that's fine. So yeah, so now we have this variable thing uh, in these notes, which it thinks makes more sense to set it. Where is this thing actually? Doesn't really matter. Um, so that's fine. Let me open up my uh, menu. 
Look at this, no red at all. Beautiful. Of course, we don't open charge because that's going to be nasty. This is the, look at this guys. This is the nastiest we ever seen. Feeder. I think something is wrong with my TS because Feeder is going to get me fired. Feeder is so bad. This is how I load my, my, my thing. This is so bad. This is so complex feeder for some reason. This is how I load my charts and set up the WebSocket connection and the callbacks for trading. It's crazy. Um, with these candles and all that stuff. But hey, it works. And as long as it works, you stay away from that as long as possible. As long as possible. Uh, and you only work on that if you have a bag of cocaine. right? That's the only reason you're going to work on that. All right, so now we're gonna see what I also want to do is um, This blueprint is wrong, right? So you see this model is not the same as um, My alert models and that's because this is a, something new that I did So let's fix that also real quick, but first of all What do, we, what, what do I need to show? Show me the money! Look at that. Server still going very hard, man. Consumer going very hard. Everything is going very, 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 very hard, man. Look at that. Markets, man. Um, this also, this is wrong. This is so bad. This menu is so wrong. Um, okay, so bad, man. All right, I'm gonna take a little breather here and then fix that other thing. Uh, one hour is good. Now we're gonna do uh, an, um, maybe we're gonna fix our web sockets, our web socket problem. I think that's maybe a more interesting thing than the stupid alert uh, thingy, uh, the stupid um, yeah new alert thing. No new blueprint thing. No, also not. What the fuck? This one. Yeah, new blueprint. This is bad. Right? This is just ugly. Ugly, 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 ugly. So, but the problem is with these web sockets is this, right? Let me open up this thing here, right? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go back to markets now, and I click here. You see, we're gonna have a problem. And this is because web socket is already closer in closing state. Why is that? Let me show you. Uh, stream, right? We do a disconnect. Uh, where do we disconnect here? By the way, guys, uh, very important. If you're not subscribed to my channel, guys, consider subscribing. I I'm suffering here. You know, you can see me suffer, right? You can see me suffer. Jump into my Discord community. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out the Tech Trader site if you're a trader. If you know somebody that is business related, very good. If you know somebody that's experienced in the financial instruments, somebody that is business, business, business related, very good. Who can up to me? Because I'm looking for, um, we need to have a partner, right? I don't know what I mean. A co-founder, kind of to say. We're looking for somebody else in the team. Um, somebody with more, somebody that knows the markets, knows crypto, knows all that stuff. Um, but there's no coder per se. So I can focus on this thing and he can focus on another thing. Or she. And if it's a she, she better be mm, yummy, yummy. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go to the. Uh, and eat. This one is important. Get notified when we launch. Fill your email address and give it to me. So you can join the private beta. Very important. Right. And also jump into the Tech Traders uh, Discord. Important. Jump in here. What is that? <laughs> Daddy. All right. So how are we gonna fix that? So we close the web sockets each time we move. It's an, an, an. So what's happening, right? If you if you know Svelte, if you know React, it's actually the same thing. It's it's in React the same. It's in uh, in Svelte the same. 
chart is felt but that's actually easy, right guys? The chart is not, not a problem. This one, this one is the easy thing. This one is the easy thing. The hard thing is the feeder. Is the feeder and get your candles in. And your other stuff and drawing or uh, strategies and all that stuff. That's going to be hard, right? And that's probably something that I'm going to do myself because I don't trust anybody else with it. Because it's going to be very difficult. <laughs> um, that's why I'm writing this thing myself because it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Some parts, right? Some parts. Uh, yeah, so basically Svelte React. So how did it work is each time, if we click, if we click for example, um, Alle. Alerts, for example, this is a, this is a model. Nothing happens, right? If we, nothing happens. But if we click at blueprints, we go to a new page, which basically means that you can see disconnected WS unsubscribe bars yada yada yada, right? So if we think about this event, where would that take place? Correctly. On destroy. So that's where we need to check. We are in websocket stream.ts. Is there a destroy method? No. Where is that? In our component. How does that component called? Blueprint. No. Markets. This one. On destroy. Look at that. You see? A little bit of logic. And you can know where to find stuff. Unsub connected. That's important. Why? It's this one, right? Oh, this is a problem. This is a market price subscribe. We need to also do the... All right, this is important. What is that? So basically, each time you subscribe to values from your from your stores, you need you if you assign that to something, it's going to give you an unsub. It's very important. It's to clean up your memory. But this disconnect, um, I need to defect that. It's so bad what I'm doing, and uh, don't try this at home, by the way. <laughs> I I'm just too good. Of course, I I'm actually just too good. The only problem we have is this trades thingy. Um, and the market price, but my socket is, this thing is, 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 is going. It is actually bad code. It's bad code. Let's be honest. What I'm doing is bad, right? So we need to. So the problem is that uh, it's this, this, this thingy. Connect. I'm making. Sh this is so bad. This is actually stinks. This code stinks. It really, really is. If you see something like this, this if if socket co console clock already connected, you know this is fishy. This this is a noob at work. It was myself. I'm subscribing to my own websockets, right? I'm subscribing to my own candles. These candles are made by myself. Right? These things, this data is coming from from my Googling backend. It's not coming from uh, Binance API. It's coming from the trades websocket connection, not from the candle, the clients. It's coming from the trades. I am making, I'm forging, I'm sampling these candles single-handedly so we can save multiple streams and a lot of data on the server. Wait, now that I'm thinking here, how can I solve this efficiently? Um, so, um, it's, it's a decision we need to make. 
if you're going to talk more about testing, no, because I don't. Good day, absolutely love your content. It shines a light on a lot of really important and sometimes hard to study topics. Uh, for testing, well, I'm just kidding. Um, I have, uh, for JavaScript, I don't know, man. Like I said, uh, for, Go uh, for Golang, I test some stuff, but I have no clue how to test in, 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 in here. No idea. I have no clue how to test that. The code is also written that it's it's uh, impossible to test. It's impossible, it says. Uh, so the thing, the problem is normally if you're in such a chart thingy, right? So the thing is, normally you, you stay in one screen. Normally you stay in a single page application, but we click blueprint. It's going to basically um, destroy this component. What's going on here? Um, what I what I think we we're gonna do is basically each time we click here we're gonna st we're gonna keep the connection open at all times, but we're gonna unsubscribe from 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 a couple of things. Do I have this function actually? To be honest, what I, what am I here? I don't have them. I have it here 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 this one. Did I call this? Nope. Oh, so all these steps, man. So no. Not we don't unsubscribe, okay? Um I was thinking of also setting the socket into a storage, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's let, let's let's get to work here. So we're not gonna disconnect. So what happens here is that if the WebSocket is connected, we're going to subscribe to that thing. And then we're going to subscribe to trades for the market price. Market price is, is coming from here and the trades and for the trades here. When we are connected, the problem is that if we go to blueprint here, we disconnect. If you go back to markets, there is no... It is, it's on mount here. I can do one, one more thing, but it's still not the best. Look at that. This is a lot of state for nothing, right? It's a lot, a lot, a lot of state. So, um, so what's, what's the correct behavior here? Well, if we go to blueprints and we go back to markets, everything should load. Yeah, it, it's now it works, right? You see, I solved it. Uh, like I said, I'm a god. I'm, I'm, I'm legit just from a computer level. Give me anything. Give me, give me any language and I, and I master it. You see markets, boom, boom, everything you see. Perfect. But is the code clean? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And there is a big problem, guys, because if you make alerts here, right? let's say you make an alert, we also gonna send the, the when the alert triggers, right? We're gonna send a notification to you also on, on, on Discord or something else on your mobile phone, but also in your application. Over WebSockets, of course, but if you are at Blueprints here, right? I'm click at Blueprints and there is no WebSocket connection anymore. Yeah, that don't makes no makes no sense at all, right? So we need to keep that connection open 
the ideal play is in my opinion the ideal play because we probably also gonna subscribe to the alerts or something i don't know the ideal play is going to be to unsubscribe from trades and unsubscribe from candles and once we come back we subscribe right that's what we're gonna do where are you getting the market data from from my own server from my own server it's coming from uh, my golang server right it's it's i have i have everything order books it's it's yeah i hook to um I will have this data for every exchange, so you, you don't need to, if you want to have, you, you, you can go to Tech Trader and you can subscribe to my data. It's, it's the best on the market. Anyway, I'm not going to cover this. Like I said, check the, the Patreon, there's more videos about that. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's working perfectly fine, I'm happy. But this is the first iteration of a problem, right? Because that's sometimes, sometimes what I do is I fix something, but then... We all, so you probably had the feeling sometimes, right? When you fix something, but deep inside, you know, ah, is that a little bit sketch, right? It's a little bit sketch. So, um, you can check the ready state. You see, that's the problem. I don't have that knowledge, right? I have no, I have, I don't have that knowledge. The ready state property on the socket, how do I do that? Well, actually, wait. We're not gonna disconnect, this is fine. If you wanna disconnect, we remove all these listeners. We, we, we set this to zero, why not? We clear the subscriptions, we set is connected false, all good, and we log this out. So this disconnecting is pretty good, right? This, you can never clean too much up, right? Um, What we can do, actually, stream exchange symbol. Actually, We should do the same thing for symbols, by the way. Later on. Only solve the problem when it happens. Only solve the problem when it happens. How do we do a, uh, a thingy here? Uh, candles. Candelis. And we're also going to do... There's going to be candles at 60. That's one minute. And going to be trades. All right. And then it's gonna be boy is that it's hard coded stuff, I know, I know. It's it's like I said, proof of concept. Just make things work. Um symbol BDC USDT. Something like that. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? So I'm gonna refresh this thing. Perfectly fine. Then we go to blueprints here. Unsubscribe, candle straights, fine. Backend. Removed sub, yes, removed sub. Why do I have three, why do I have three subs? Unsubscribe is true here, only from trades. Is it gonna work right now?
Let me do it on mount, right? Let me do it on mount. It's actually su su such a bad behavior. I need to think about that. I need to play around with this. It's, it's a lot of options. I need to actually completely refactor that. That's that's what's going to happen, to be honest. Um, <laughs> All right. I'm gonna defect to that. I'm gonna defect to that. But the, the thing is, I'll also see see something I don't like. It's this one. I don't like to see this. See, so actually, to be honest, what needs to happen is not quite sure. Maybe I have some other tab. No, I have one tab open. Yeah. Ah, it's a stupid alert. Yeah, I see. Of course, we have five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an alert. I have an alert that's subscribed. The stupid alert is also subscribed. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, makes sense. So, okay, look at that. If, if, if I connect here, right, it's going to tell me that I have five subscribers. Why? Alert to subscribe to three, and then I have um, I have uh, span zero is real time, the real time trades, and then span one minute the candles. Right stream two is candles, right? And if I refresh here, it's going to be five. You see, uh, we remove we remove them, and then we add them back. That's very important because um, okay, I can show you actually. I did this on my Patreon, right? I did this on my Patreon. I can do this. Make test WS. You see. Uh, what's happening is I have a script that basically try to it runs and then it stops It runs and it unsubscribes Right, so and then we can see that actually running f forever as for testing. This is this is how I test. This is um, How do we call that Netflix has some? Um, uh, chaos monkey. That's my chaos monkey. I have my own chaos monkey. Look at that. You see what happens here? Look Handle subscribe, unsubscribe. You see? Subscribe false, subscribe true. Boom, boom. It's for testing. And what I can do is this, right? So what I can do is this, right? Cancel it, spin it back up. Cancel it, spin it back up. Cancel it, spin it back up. Even even more work it. Even work it more. Boom. You see, and it, it keeps working. It keeps working. You see, and and um the, 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 this one is also Everything is fine. You see here, it removes, it adds, no errors at all. It's perfectly fine. That's how I test that. It's resilient. Okay. Uh, so uh, we're gonna do a couple questions and then I'm gonna go uh, record actually here. Record right now. What's going on on Twitch actually? Are there any are there actually people watching Twitch? Probably not. One. One people is watching me. Desert Fox, what up, man? One people. But hey, maybe I had more, right? Because I was not interactive because I was on YouTube, right? That's where everybody is. YouTube, 37 viewers. I was at 100 viewers a couple, uh, two weeks ago. 100 viewers because I was doing all the stuff. And now I'm doing more complex stuff. <laughs> I 
All right, no questions, no problem. Let's do, uh, am I recording? Yeah, I am, I am, I am, I am. So, uh, so basically, this morning I woke up and uh, somebody in my Discord basically uh, told me, hey, Anthony, you are famous on the Reddit. And I said, oh no, me famous on Reddit? That's impossible. That's impossible. Because Reddit, the only thing they do is hate me, right? So uh, let me open up this my Discord real quick here. Let me open up my Discord real quick. Hey, this thing, right? Or boy, Anthony, it's not in the morning. It's basically in the, in, in the afternoon, but hey, sorry. I mean, it. it is what it is. So uh, let's click this thing and then uh, let me zoom in here. Right. Like I said, posted 10 hours ago by Flamingo. And uh, Flamingo, maybe he's, maybe he's here in the, in the <laughs> maybe he's on the stream here, I don't know. So if you're here, Flamingo, I'm so sorry what I'm going to say. Um, so first of all, uh, he's telling x is How the hell do you write maintainable, clean code for a bigger API in Go? Good question. Right. That's a good question. Um, because the big, what is the bigger API? An API with more methods? More handlers? Or an API with more data structures underneath? A user, an account, get user, get user by ID, get user by name, get user by email. Just saying, I'm just thinking out loud. So, discussion here. You wanna discuss classic, if, classic Reddit, right? Wasting their time instead of in the gym, getting strong as fuck, just like me. No, they are sitting there eating chips, being fat, lazy, and uh, watching uh, discussions here, right? So hi all, so I come from an OOP background, right? OOP, Object Oriented Programming, yeah? Modern C, <laughs> modern C Sharp where I have written a lot of REST APIs. Usually everything is implemented through generic code. So most of the get, put, get post put delete functionality is done the moment I implement the base class. Yeah, okay, fine. That's, 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 that's how, we, yeah. Okay, cool, I see, right? I have generic controllers with generic services, right? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this again. Implemented through generic codes, I have generic controllers with generic services based on generic DB entries. It's basically one, two, three, four times generic. It's basically four times too much, right? That's the first thing I'm gonna say uh, because you're spoiled. Like I said, you're you're basically being spooned by your programming language. You're being spooned by the frameworks, like a little child with a spoon. You know what I mean? Eating his is is a uh, broca pop. Uh, it's what they say in Belgium, right? Mm? You know what I mean? Uh, and of course now you're in Golang. <laughs> this, this, nobody's feeding you in Golang, my man. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's all you, right? It's all you. And of course, these other 45 people that liked a uh, thumbs up this thing, or that it, of course, right? You guys can hook, hang on together and, uh, and, and conquer the world, right? Isn't it? So basically, um, Let's, let's read this again. I have a generic controller which generic services based on generic DB entities. Of course, this has its drawbacks, but it's also convenient when you have 50 plus tables. Okay, fine. Right. Uh, it's all good. So starting go, okay, right. Uh, he loves it. I, I can see why. But it has some weird for me quirks. For example, this guy. So wait, let, let me recapitulate. Right? Recap reca re 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 rephrase. It has some weird for me quirks, for example, this guy, which is me, right? <laughs> How do we do this? Shit, I need to basically... Five, seven. In GitHub username, because the authentication is with GitHub. Uh, some roles and all that stuff, and um, all my... Database calls are basically in this data layer, right? So everything database related, uh, specific, tied to a, a specific domain, for example, a user or a transfer or subscriptions uh, will happen in this uh, data layer. <clears throat> so yeah, let me drink my coffee because uh, yeah, I'm gonna waste your time a little bit. <laughs> I'm 
gonna waste your time exactly, Flamingo. I just wasted your time, and I'm so happy that I did. So uh, the the problem is, um, so basically, what I do, what I describe in this video is that you have your data layer. For example, let me let me go back to his to his video, right? Uh, because look at that, find by ID and find by by uh, see by ID. If you're still using find by ID and find by email, like I said. I'm never gonna hire you, right? You're, you're, go you're gonna make 50K, may maybe 55K, but that's gonna be it, right? Maybe 40K. So basically, you're gonna be broke for the rest of your life. And you need to live with that because nobody's gonna hire a fund by ideas. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's house, garden, and kitchen coat. You know, it's the weekend, it's the coat for the weekend warrior, right? Um, of course, yeah, it is what it is. You could maybe go by Ruby, and if you if you do it correctly, it will automatically generate this, these these things for you, right? Uh, which is actually very convenient. Not gonna lie, it's 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 amazing sometimes. So the only thing you need to do to solve this is find a user and you give it a map, right? That's the only. That's if you give if you if you make find user and you give that thing a map. Just like what I do, uh, he's in um, in this thing, for example, uh, blueprints, data, right? Uh, get blueprints, you give it a query, right? Uh, get blueprint, query, util map. And if you really want to filter, you can give it another map, right? You could, could query filter map, query filter whatever, right? Easy peasy, right? But I just query just to make it simple. Why? Because right now you can, you can query by an ID, you can query by... An email, uh, you can query by whatever you want. It's a map. But then the community, yeah, but the map is not type safe. You see, everybody has complaints, right? Uh, everybody is going to say something about this video that I'm going to post on YouTube. Uh, people will come in and they will, and they will, oh, the classic technical community, right? Um, they want to say their thing, right? Uh, so it seems wrong. Why? Why, why, is, that, why is that wrong? Right, I have insert blueprint, update blueprint, get blueprint, get blueprints, and this is just a helper function to hash my blueprint. That's it. So I have I have, I have four functions, and maybe I need a fifth, which is basically uh, delete blueprint. And if I want to find my blueprint, then I just the only thing I need to do basically is uh, modify my query here. Right. And it will automatically with this builder range and it will find all that stuff for me. With the drawback that basically if you use a query, you, you, hey, if you use a map, you, you're not gonna have this type safety on your keys, but that doesn't matter, right? Because if you really, really want, you can you can put up a specific strict where you can basically have type safety for whatever you want to query on that blueprint. Of course, it's not the same thing like all this generated bullshit from OOP, I understand. and. But this is, you see what you get, right? You get what you see and you see what you get. That's what's happening here. There is no hidden, there, are, there is no hidden, there is nothing hidden. It, it, this is what it is. If somebody, if something is going wrong with my get blueprint and somebody wants to modify this, they're going here. Inside of this and nowhere else. Just saying. I'm just saying it is what it is. So if it if it, is it wrong, probably not. But is it good? Who knows, right? Like I said, there is no such thing as good and bad in programming, and I'm and that's why I'm I'm getting annoyed a lot. And you can maybe feel it today, but I'm I'm really really getting annoyed because it's not only on on Reddit. It's uh, on my it's everywhere I go. On the internet, it's it's haunting me, right? Why do you choose this? Why do you do that? Why this? Why that? Why this thing not good? At a certain point of time, I'm not gonna make any single video anymore because I need to make, I need, I need to, um, I don't know, explain myself what am I doing and why and 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 yeah, it's just annoying. It's really really annoying. I'm, I'm getting way too old for that. Uh, Right, so it seems wrong, 
which is is in 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 is in in his opinion, which makes completely is completely fine, right? I mean, C sharp, Go Lang, it's completely different behavior. It's a completely different culture, right? Um, that not creating it automatically. A lot of manual work for every entity, basically. Yeah, welcome to Golang. Do I just have to change my mindset? Yes. Or am I missing something? No. Yes, you need to change your mindset. Yes, you don't need to have find this, find B, find user by ID, find name by ID. And how long does it take if you really... Sometimes you need to find your user by ID, but that does not mean that you need to find... A book by ID. Maybe maybe you have books, but maybe you never find them by ID because you you, you join them or something. I don't know, right? For example, find user by email. You're not going to find book by email, right? So if you want to make these convenient helper functions, it's perfectly fine to have a find user by ID, right? It's perfectly fine. But it's also perfectly fine to find user to make a get user function where you have a generic query map where you can just put the ID in it and get your user by ID. That's also perfectly fine. With, of course, the only reason I can already see them coming is that we have a map here, which basically means that you can type ID like that and it's it's not going to work because maybe it's in the database like this, right? I completely agree, right? This, this is something that's very dangerous. But then you can give it a user structure, right? Put get 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 blueprint or get user, right? Get users, for example. Then you give it a user pointer, right? Uh, user or uh, or something else, or just a user actually, like that, right? Type user. So if you give it that, then then you basically have type safety and if the ID is null if the ID is not null you can do an upsert if you use the same thing for for a posting or something like that you know what I mean anyway don't, ma don't matter um, are you a trader or a programmer I am become that the destroyer of worlds. That's why I am. No, uh, I'm, I'm. I'm not a trader. I am a programmer, right? But I am. Uh, I am. I am. I am. Sp I'm speciali specialized in everything what happens with financial markets infrastructure. All right, so Mohamed, uh, welcome to social media. Don't take things personally. Social media need you be bold from inside. Videos like this educate people about your ways, but that's more than enough. Uh, don't make it hunt you. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. And it's 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 with periods. It's co it's it comes with periods. Like some some periods, I can I can I can um, I can let it sink. I can let it sit. But some periods, I'm, 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 it's way too much. I, I'm getting enough. It's, it's way too much for me. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like I've seen Barbies too. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the thing, right? And I really hope by, by, by sometimes doing, being this hard to you guys, uh, like I said, it doesn't matter. If you're in, in real life, I would be as same as hard, right? It's not because I'm sitting behind a camera. I don't care. People that know me in real life, this is who I am. Because I just want to filter a lot of people, right? The same thing in my Discord community. Uh, I had a message, uh, I think it was yesterday, and somebody said, man, this Discord community behaves so good, right? I'm sitting with, I don't know, I think, how, how many people are in here? Um... Three thousand five hundred members. Well, of course, not everybody's online, but the thing is, there's no problem in my Discord. I never need to do moderation. Why? Because I attract the people 
that w- want to be attracted the same thing with my YouTube channel. I only have 17k subscribers, and if you think you're gonna hurt me by leaving uh, and unsubscribe, I don't literally care, right? I just filter so I only have people interacting with me. That makes sense. Of course, you can criticize me. It's perfectly fine. Sometimes I made a mistake, right? Uh, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. I make a lot of mistakes. And I, uh, most of the time, I am, I, yeah, like I said, the same thing with the pointer map range. A lot of people came in and they say, oh, this or that, or uh, maybe that's a good solution. Hey, happy with that. Happy with that. Shit, I made a typo. I made a typo. Uh, which library are you using for handling the candle charts? Trading, uh, trading view library. Trading view, my friend. Trading view. Oh my goodness. Get commitment, I am fixed a typo. Go for so. Go, go and deploy. Yes. Right. So that's it. Actually, uh, I'm I'm gonna probably re- re-record this video uh, because we are completely I don't know, man. Maybe I need to go. Uh, uh, maybe I need to sleep. Maybe I need to sleep so longer. Why on earth would you ever expose fifty tables directly to API? Exactly. Flappy Flappy Slipper Fist already uh, as, as as okay. That, that that's actually that's true. What if you absolutely has this? Yeah, yeah. The OCAM's razor principle. Ooh. Do you have an example of this approach for the Imagine Project Management tool? Yada, yada, yada. Confluence, yada, yada, yada. Let's get it, get, get, get it, get it out of here. Get him out of here. Give this guy some love. Look at that. Uh, all right. What's going on here? Auto click. Fine. Uh, you can make money trading too or only programming. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. Not at all. Why do we have an internal server at Odir? Oh yeah, because my, our app is not online. <laughs> It's not online. So unsubscribe channel 60. Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, like I said, dictator guys, give me, give me some love, man. I, I'm working very, very hard on this thing. Uh, this one. Normally, I should have this um, typo fixed. Yes, fixed. Fixed it, fixed it. So yeah, like I said, um, subscribe to this thing. So when we, when I go live, when we go live. Um, you can check it out, right? Very amazing, making blueprints here, and then uh, basically just subscribe to the result, or uh, just as a normal trader, make powerful uh, alerts, right? Not on trading view, no, nowhere to be found, only on tech trader, right? So you can minimize your chart time and maximize your productivity. Any more questions? Otherwise, I'm gonna dip them out. Just a suggestion for your VS connection: do not close them too often. You don't want to do that. What you could do is mark WS as idle and after some time only then close it also on logout. Yeah, Marcus. Um, true. True. I think I'm not going to close it. I think I'm going to leave it open, but unsubscribe from my motivational contribution. William Christensen. Thank you so much, man. Much appreciated. Super chatted. Ten dollars, I think. Amazing. Doesn't really matter how much it is. Um, I actually also should learn that I not need to stream and I'm a little bit, uh, (laughs) 
it doesn't matter. But uh, the thing is, um, to th this web sockets, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna just unsubscribe from the streams, leave the web socket open as long as the user is connected to the website. Simple. Um, why not? Right? Can you do kind of your most used Go libraries in video? Um, the only libraries I use is for web sockets. Most of the time, because I, I do a lot of stuff with WebSockets or Fiber or Echo. And besides that, I'm, I'm, I don't use any libraries, I think. Most of the time, never use helper libraries or something. Just just a simple web framework libraries like Echo, Fiber, and um, maybe some B3 or something if I need it. But well, besides that, you just do things yourself, right? Love these streams. Like I said, I don't like these streams. I don't know what it is. It's like, I just want to code actually. But people come into the stream and they ask me so, so many r r weird questions and it's, I need to, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna. I didn't know the trading view libraries were open. They are not open, they are not open. Uh, the trading view libraries are not open. You need to you need to uh, register for them, right? We need to register for them, and then uh, and then you can. Um, Use them. Uh, I'm still. This WebSocket is still is still going, man. You see this test, this test WS. Look at that. He's still going like a madman, like a madman. Markets click right. Yeah, it's a reload. It's short because it's Svelte in debug mode, right? Let's do it again. We can't. What's going on? Oh, this one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and of course we need to order book here also, right? That's something I need to do. And then it's going to be uh, focused on uh, alerts is the first thing I'm going to make. Then the blueprints, they, 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 they are actually done, right? Uh, making the blueprints is done. And the backtesting thing is going to be for later on. And then we can go. Then we can go ham. Then people can test it. And then we can, yeah, we can, we can see where the market fit is, eh? You know what I mean? Because you never know. <laughs> oh my goodness. So guys, if you know somebody, like I said before, if you know somebody that can help me scale this thing a little bit, little bit faster, if you know somebody in the space um, that is business related very good, let me know. Um, He's basically gonna work with one of the best engineers in the space, which is me. Um, track record in the space, right? Worked with the with the top companies in this space, right? So if somebody wanna take a gamble with me, no, no financial needed, right? I'm not, I'm not here to to look for financial help because I'm, 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 I can carry this up my my own, right? Financially, no problem. I don't need any VC money. I need expertise. I need business expertise. Somebody, somebody that's me. While I'm coding, he's be he's doing me. But on the other spectrum of business, on, on the other spectrum of the application, you know what I mean. Um, because right now I need to code, and then I need to do this and that and all that bullshit. No, I want to code. I want to focus, and then that other guy can take care and then we're going to make this a multi-million dollar company exit in five years and be rich, right? William Christensen, I'm in the space and scaled out a company that was sold for 30 billion. <sighs> Is that true, William Christensen? Is that true? Uh, 
the complete project to you. Actually, I need to make a Patreon video. We're gonna. Uh, I need to upload one. <coughs> oh, yeah. So we're gonna make a new video on Patreon. Uh, recordings. Patreon. We as this is this one. This one is what I'm gonna make today. And tomorrow we have um, the other one. So it's gonna be Tick Traders. Oh, web sockets. Refactor. Subscriptions. Yeah. Go length 71 videos. <laughs> That's how, that's how I do. That's how I do business. Um, what up, Array? Oh, Array. It's, uh, is this? Is this, Ar is this Felix? Array, are you Felix? <laughs> and all these nicknames, man. The buyer was buying uh, United Healthcare. So, William, uh, William, if you're on Discord, go come to the Discord. Uh, if you want to talk to me about that, uh, come to the Discord, poke me on Discord. Uh, it doesn't matter what Discord is, it could be my Discord or the Tiktay Discord. Poke me and then we can discuss. Um, we can talk about it, why, why, why not, right? Um, nope, Felix is not, uh, Array is not, no, I am Array. Oh yeah, it's not, uh, Fel yeah, but Felix is a nickname for somebody that also, yeah, it's AR, it's AR, it's not Array, it's true, uh, it's my bad, it's my bad. What up, Sess? I'm on the Discord. Okay, cool. That's nice. I will talk to you. So the cool thing is, right? Um, so basically, the cool thing about this whole this whole thing before I, I leave the stream is that, um, for example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new one here, real quick. Save right. For example, imagine you're a quant trader. You're an algo trader or you want to make a, an algo bot, right? And you want to you wanna hook to Binance uh, futures. You want to hook to um, BitMEX. You want to hook to Coinbase and maybe Polynex or something. Right? You want to ga gather the market data from uh, the order books or, or the trades or whatever. Uh, from, from these exchanges, so you, you, you open up your editor and you start coding and you're gonna have a very, very bad time. Why? Because you need to integrate with these exchanges, right? So you, okay, you can use a library, sure, but still, boilerplate code. And you need to do that for each and single exchange. And you need to aggregate that data and then you need to probably compute some stuff and you also need to maintain, because your algorithms need to be real time, which basically means they need to stay up 24 seven. So you need to make sure that, um, yeah, that, uh, that that the connections are fine. What you could do is you can come to Tech Trader, right? You could say, for example, I make a new expression here. Of course, I need to make the menu much better, right? And then I could say, for example, uh, I'm gonna make a built-in here. Uh, for example, I want, what's going on here? I want the best bit. I want uh, the best. This menu is so fucking terrible that I'm gonna rewrite it this weekend. This is so nasty, I need to... This is such a bad thing. Best ask, right? So you could do this, right? So what you could do is, let's make an expression here. Let's zoom in. Um, is it bad? bit ask? Yeah, bit ask spread like this. And then we say a mat function. I'm gonna add more mat functions, guys, no worries. I'm gonna add more match functions. So I'm gonna make this, right? So now this is the spread. So we're gonna do, uh, we make a variable here. We're gonna call this um the spread right spread boom bam right okay cool then what, what what do i want i also need um expression here perfectly fine you could also click arrange right if you're lost if you're lost in salvation click arrange right uh so what you can do okay next one okay i want also um
I'm thinking about it. I'm just... Trade counts or something, right? You want trade counts. Um, let's say we have the spread here. Let's 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 put the spread into into another functionality here. So we have the spread, and then you're gonna say, um, wait, if if wait, no, no, not trade count, not trade count. Let's delete this thing. Then we're gonna take the spread, right? And then we're gonna take uh, an operator here. Uh, I, I, the, the, the possibilities are endless, right? I'm going to add more stuff. It's going to be crazy, right? But listen, listen, bear with me. Then we're going to say, uh, great, great, this menu is so bad. <laughs> oh, let me make a, a new value. I'm going to make a floaty. So for example, if the spread is bigger than 0 0.1 or something, right? Okay. If the spread, if the spread is bigger than 0 0.1, and uh, let's make an expression here like that. <laughs> And the uh, um, built-in. I want to have a built-in here. Built-in. Uh, trade count. So I want to have a big, big trades coming in. Uh, a lot of market volume or something. I don't know. Whatever. Be creative. Um, so this is a Boolean. Wait, I need to do this. And the trade count is greater than uh, I want to have big trades I want to have a float look at that this is amazing guys I want to have a float here hello float thank you this menu this menu is gonna is gonna drive me crazy right okay so bigger trade count uh, how many trades we want 500 actually to be honest 1500 we want to have boo 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 it, it needs to iceberg you know what I mean it needs to be a lot of trades coming in. They're, they're trying to clear an iceberg or something. I don't know. Hey, I'm just saying, right? I'm just being. Uh, and you see, if you're lost, you click arrange, no problem. And it's it's going to arrange that for you, right? So, um, okay, this is basically if the spread is higher than 0 0.1 and the trade count. So we make a new expression. Then we're going to say, <laughs> this is actually amazing. Uh, and, and, but I don't think I have these conditions yet. Equal, wait, this is going to be Boolean, true, and this, it needs to be uh, NN. I don't have this expression built in. Actually, we can build this in right now. No, we can't, because if I save this, we're going to, so it needs to be a condition, like the um, equal to, actually, not equal to, it's the, how do you call that? The NN operator, and. So you, you, you can see it coming. If this and that, then you could basically um, output another value or something. I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Maybe a built-in. You're going to put the best bit into uh, in a stream or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Something like that. So what's going to happen is that you will only receive messages. Oh, this is going to generate a hash, right? This is going to be. This is going to generate a script hash. In um. Blueprint, right? Is this function? It's this one. Look at that hash, right? The hash, right? It's gonna generate the hash, and you can subscribe over WebSockets to this computed result of this blueprint. So that basically means that you, and you can mo make multiple blueprints, right? You can make a blueprint for Binance, a blueprint for. Uh, Bitmax blueprint for, for Coinbase and subscribe to all these hashes. Get all the data over one WebSocket connection that basically is um, already pre computed here. And what I'm the, the cherry on the on the on the pie is gonna be that we can import blueprints and use bloop the output of a blueprint as the as the input of an expression. <laughs> that would be crazy because then you can do, uh, then you can, because you can do arbitrage trading if you just subscribe to the output, to the hashes, but then you need to do some logic for the arbitrage trading yourself. But if you can import a blueprint and use that output um, into a new blueprint, then you can basically code your arbitrage algos here and uh, get a boolean when you need to buy or, or sell, for example, and, and who, how much uh, directly over WebSockets here without all that logic in. It doesn't make actually any sense. Does, does people understand what I'm trying to build here? Do people see, see the power of this thing? 
I hope I hope people ho hope people can see that, right? Um, yeah. But the platform don't trade for you, right? We d we don't trade. We are an, an we are we are just a better the next generation of trading view. You know what I mean with their own fucking chart. We just have a much instead of using these stupid scripts, right? Instead, guys, listen. Instead of doing this, of course I need to refresh because I'm an idiot, right? Instead of instead of making these indicators, see, right, and, and drawing these lines, and you make you code script pine uh, pine script, right? And then you're gonna have an indicator here. What you can do is basically um, use a blueprint that has it has much more power than a simple EMA script because in trading view you don't have access to order book information you don't have access to trade information you cannot make market making making strategies in trading view because they don't have that information to you they only have simple candle information candle closes and 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 some stuff right Yeah, so the, the, we, the, I don't, Tech Trader does not trade. We are not an algorithm platform because that's a big mistake a lot of people made. A lot of people are trying to solve algorithmic trading for people, uh, for, for, the, for the masses. But that's a problem because it's a lot of, a lot of hassle is involved with uh, algorithmic trading. First of all, legally. We cannot just use your keys and all that stuff. It's a lot of legal problems. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just problematic. I don't want to be responsible for, an, for a flash in the market or even a problem, a problem with, with API or whatever, uh, with data that, that somebody is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to make a mistake. What we're going to do is provide people And I'm going to make this, this, this spread thing as an example on the website, for sure. These blueprints, by the way, you can share them with each other. Right? See, see this as libraries. You need to see this as libraries. So if, if you're a programmer and you're going to install... Um, you want to program a, 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 an application, the first thing you're going to do is, what is the first thing you're going to do? Install Next.js, right? Okay, install Next.js. Then you're going to install some authentication. Okay, cool. We're going to install some authentication, right? And then you're going to install Zot. Okay, cool. We, we need install Zot. That basically means that we need the built-in uh, of the uh, this menu, man. Oh, oy, 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 oy. the VBuy, volume and the buy. The buy volume, right? Do you have buy volume? This, this probably you have in, uh, in trading view. But uh, I'm going to implement things like funding rate. Not quite sure if you can skip that. But like uh, best bid, best ask. You don't have that because they don't have order book information. I do. So you, you see, you, 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 if you want to code an application, you install packages. That's the same thing. If you want to code an algorithm or you, or you want to trade or uh, there is a certain market condition or you want to do market making, you want to do simple market making and you don't want to maintain all these connections yourself you can make these blueprints and uh, just web subscribe to the to your blueprint instead of and you're going to have multiple information over one socket right pre-computed that's the thing and then you can share this which basically means that um you can plug and play these blueprints and what I'm, I'm trying to do, I'm not sure if, if I can make it work, but if I can make that work, that's going to be, in, that's going to be insane. That you can use blueprints as an input to another blueprint. That would be crazy. That, that I can use a blueprint, for example, and put this blueprint, for example, I'm, 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 I'm searching for a blueprint. Boom. That's a, that's a fucking stream. That's annoying. Expression. And I use this blueprint as an input into my other one. And this blueprint is a, comp a complete other computation. 
that would be sick and uh, you can run your blueprints uh, over for each market for each ticker right Ugh, so annoying need to fix that right so you can run and then you can print your blueprints and see them visually if you want and backtest them kinda or something I don't know I need to test, test like I said I still need to figure a lot of things out right um, yeah I actually don't know what I want to say it's classic me classic me The fact you can overlay strategies, yeah. So what I'm also gonna do is this, right? Look at that. For 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 the people that cannot, for the people that just want to make alerts, you can also do just this. Indicators. <laughs> you can make. Uh, I'm gonna build an EMA or I say I'm gonna build everything in, everything in. So you can basically take a source, for example. Um, yeah. Like I said, you can you can take a value. For example, this uh, the length of the EMA is going to be the 200, right? 200 EMA, and then the source is going to be what do you want for your EMA? I want the uh, open, or actually it's going to be the close or something. Doesn't really matter, right? And EMA is an EMA. It's just a mathematical formula over a time series, right? Doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, EMA, and then you can take this output and use this output in another expression, right? You see, for example, the EMA needs to be greater than this float. Uh, I'm going to store this variable into a custom variable for myself right and then you can see this going right you can use this and you can you can make multiple expressions right and use this output into in, as an input to multiple right because this is a variable you stored do you see this this is crazy man like i said i'm gonna make a poke uh, if, if, I, if i can uh, i'm building this right uh, if i can once this is kind of working, I'm gonna show you the power of this thing and then it's GG well fucking played. This is insane. If I had this four years ago when I had my hat stick, had, uh, my, my market making firm small on the side where I was mining liquidity, right? Uh, simple, I was market making, which basically I was just going all these exchanges in crypto, all these exchanges. I was basically market making and arbitraging stuff just to make sure I was just maybe just in profit or break even but i was raking in all these bonuses these liquidity incentives because uh, back in the day it was a thing these liquidity incentives if i had this yo, but i didn't because i was i was still you know what i mean i was it was still then anyway William Christensen, we're gonna talk. Talk. Very sweet, but now I need to pee. I need to smoke some nicotine while I vape because it's even it's 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 no excuse, right? It's it's worse. It's maybe even worse than smoking, but I'm still addicted, right? And that I have a very strong mental <laughs> and I'm very, very uh, into sports and into healthy food, but smoking is something if if I don't know, I, I'm not I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. I think if I stop smoking, I'm gonna die. Um Baba. Thank you. Skia. All right, guys. Thanks for the stream. Um, hey, have a good weekend, right? And I'm gonna release a video or something probably. And I'm gonna be. Ha I'm gonna sleep well. I go into my jacuzzi, which is, it's it's a a, a plastic. Uh, how do you call that? Like a <laughs> a blown up jacuzzi, but it's nice. I'm gonna relax a little bit, uh, so I can be much more happier than I was on stream today. I'm so sorry, but sometimes. <laughs> 